everybody i am back again with some more planners in my shop the links will be down below to the both of these just literally finished them now after work so um yeah they're up in the shop and they're linked down below so there's two different sizes but it's pretty much the same materials that i use in the same paper um, pack and this one here the smaller one is a pocket size traveler's notebook no rings inside this is the um, personal ring bound in here and there's been some confusion back and forth because i'm even having issues trying to figure out sizes as far as the rings the whole planner itself so it is a uh, like a standard size personal ring bound there is a ring bound standard that is actually wider um, and then there's the a5 which is what i was getting confused with but the a5 i believe is bigger so um let me see if it's on here mm, yeah okay so i don't know how this works but on um, my little punch thing here i guess i don't know i'm not even gonna go over this but a5 is bigger <laughs> i think i need to fix this so it's definitely not um when i first bought the rings i was having a lot of trouble trying to figure out what size it was because the listings of these particular rings i don't think was correct through through um aliexpress so but my inserts do measure uh, let's see where did i put it is it three where is it there it is for this just so you know they're 3.75 by 6.75 okay so the inserts are that and then the rings to go with that and travelers uh pocket size my inserts are three and a half by five and a half in this okay i do sell inserts to go in these different um, planners they're uh digitals and you know if you ever want to add to these you can just you know check that out it's a mega kit right now i do plan on making a, another set of inserts with more planning stuff you know like medical pet children you know stuff like that it just takes a while so i am putting that on the back burner for now but i do have a mega kit with some things already in the shop <clears throat> okay so let's get started and um first off i did use lol because these colors match nicely with the material which is a hobby lobby um material which um is on a spool usually so they consider it like a ribbon even though it's you know material fabric uh and then both the inside and out i use the hobby lobby stuff and the colors match perfectly with that so i just went with it and um i love these so i actually have a b6 with this material that i really love i love the way it feels and it's a little more sturdy with the the rings um they're both pretty sturdy since this is small we're going to go ahead and start with this now everything the material and the dangles and the clips they're all exactly the same the inserts might differ as far as which papers i used they're both going to have the same pen which is also from hobby lobby it's got one of the girls and they both say dreamer it matches the blue that's in the flowers and they both have the white elastic so and they both have page markers with the same tab on top and they're both each gonna come with one of these so i am gonna throw in because i didn't um make any die cuts or stickers for this but um i mean not everything coordinates with the colors but you know we always mix things up this first page is the one that i really love to go with it and there is some succulents in here so you will get this pack of stickers. I'll do a quick flip through to go with the planner. Okay. Quite a bit of stuff in here to play with. Okay, so you will get one of those to go with each one. So let's start with the pocket size traveler's notebook. And if you don't know, first off, we do say T 
TN for Traveler's Notebook. Um, and what it is is just inserts like little booklets on elastics. There's going to be four sections in here. One of them will be a folder. And <clears throat> as always, well, I almost always put in a shaker or I'll make like a shaker dashboard. If I don't, then I probably do extra stuff of something else. Um, I did sew both of these, so that is cool. And I sewed in the pockets and here is the plain like pale peach background or backing. I have a tutorial that I just posted on how I made these two covers. So if you wanna know how I did that, you can check that out. I think it's the previous video to this one. There's gonna be a bow clip and some journaling cards. These are actually Project Life cards I just recently got. On the back, there's another pocket with another Project Life card. You can move these around. I just like to set it up to kind of show you and show what you can do. So the shaker dashboard here is two parts. The shaker part, and then the back is a uh, pocket. So I just picked some really fun sequence and this is a sticker that says unique from uh, Joann's. I stuck in a card. You should always stick something on that extra pocket when you do this because these don't stay in there very well um, without something on the other end. So I always stick something. And I put in some dimensional stickers from Hobby Lobby. They coordinate. Um, a couple of the girls and then some of the eyelash eyebrow things. The first insert is all the inserts that are in here, the booklets, have a removable, well, a cover that you can use as a pocket. So each one of these is going to have two pockets. So you get six pockets in here. On the first one, I did put a credit card pocket. Over here, there's a cactus um, paper clip. This one's a store-bought clip from Joann's. I just thought that would be cute in there. And again, move everything around to how you like it. That's just kind of how I set it up. So you're going to get in both of these an undated monthly and an undated weekly and a section with just blank paper, white paper. So, And this is from my collection, these um, inserts. There's the back pocket. And all you do if you want to change this out is you pull out the booklet and pull out this card it's not attached to the insert and then just change it out with some more paper same thing with this pocket you could change that out you're going to get one of the eyelash clips and here's the succulents that's why i use that cactus um paper clip oh and i forgot about the little girl um i have picked these up the they're like cabochons from Allie, i think and I thought she kind of went because she's got that like blue flower in her hair. And I used E6000 first for the paper clip and then I hot glued in this little blingy piece for the back which is actually from the Dollar Tree. I have been using those a lot. Okay, so then we got our next insert here with the eyelash clip. And on this side, I put in a couple of sticky notes you could put a little bit of adhesive there, like a stick glue, to hold those down better. Another card that I just threw in there. And then this is the week on two pages. And it's a good size for a small um, planner here. So it's undated. And then here's your page marker. You can move this anywhere you like, but I do have a pocket here. It does say today is the day. That was actually a sticky note. And I used two back to back, so it'd be double sided. And then some of the. Um, paper from the paper collection and here's the pen holder and your washi samples it actually coordinates with the collection because it's from Hobby Lobby and your pen the only problem with um, some of these pens and then your pen holder is if it's like I don't know if it's painted on but it might like right there kind of scratched it even though I didn't put it on, I didn't tighten this too much. That's the only thing with that, but it still works out. So here is your double pocket folder. I just tucked in another card in there. And the last insert in here is the plain paper. There's another card and then some more sticky notes here. And then I made this paper clip using 
I think these bows were from Hobby Lobby. They had adhesive on the back, so you can use it um, to decorate things, but I just put in a paper clip instead and removed the adhesive. I'm going to stick it on this for now. Maybe. And then it's just blank paper inside. And then the last one, last pocket with another journal card here. So this one here is the Pocket Traveler's Notebook. Usually when I use paper collections, that's the name that I put on them, like LOL. Um, if I, I don't think I have any more left because I think I had sold some LOL before planners and I might, if they're still there, then I'm going to have to give it a different name, but I think they're gone already. So then here is the um, personal size planner rings. You can see the rings here. It's stitched again and I do have the elastic as a strap. So this one lays nice and flat since it's a ring. It's removable too, so if you want to change out your cover, all you need is a flathead screwdriver and unscrew these things here and then put it into another cover. Like I said, there is a tutorial that I just made, but you can check out other tutorials too, not just mine. Um, I put another journal card over here and then another one of those. And the back, another pocket, all stitched in. Let's just show you this card, which is pretty much the same on both sides, just a different orientation. All right, now with this one here, I did put two page lifters that I made. I used the um, Dollar Tree cutting mats that I found, and they are removable. You don't have to um, open these up because I have notched these out, and you could use these as writing boards too. What that means is take this out and let's just go over here put this behind uh, one of your things that you're going to write on and then it gives you a firm surface because if you're like me where I put a whole bunch of clips and stuff it gets a little lop you know it gets a little hard to write on so got that and then I also added two of these clear I'm gonna call them acetate which it pretty much is but it is um laminate that I just laminated by itself these I didn't notch out but you can notch out all the inserts that are in here if you want like the dividers and stuff I just didn't notch that out here's another one of those clips and you could decorate this with stickers or add pockets on here or add sticky notes but with the second one I did put sticky notes you'll see that in a minute then here's the first um, pocket or divider or you can turn it into a divider got another card in here another pocket for your credit card and then this one is actually a divider for the first section I clipped together these two so that when you open it you can you know go straight to your month but do whatever you like with that so this is the blank month on two pages again from my collection um, these dividers are laminated and another one of these and another one of the girls I'm not gonna pull them out you put them wherever you'd like. There's going to be a clear pocket in here with the same girls and eyelashes. And here's the next um, divider. It's just plain. This is your dashboard, and I did notch this one out so you can move it around wherever you'd like. Or page marker, I should say. and Or just use it, you know, like a pocket and just leave it wherever. But... Um, again, same thing. Um, I think I used the same papers. Yeah, I pretty much use the same paper. The only difference is this, you know, what part of this you're going to see. Same cards and washi and pen. Okay, so then over here I have clipped one of these. Oh, I forgot to show it here, but same thing. I have a tutorial on how I make these little pom-pom dangles using the pom-pom beatable pom-poms from joann's something new that they started carrying so somewhere in my collection of videos i have a tutorial on how to make this and this time i put it on paper clip so you can dangle it from the bottom or the sides or wherever again the week on two pages 
And here's that other acetate with your sticky notes on here. Next dashboard is just plain. And then the blank sheets here, the bow clip again, another pocket, same cards. The only difference in cards are the large ones here and that one with the hot pink, I think that was in that first pocket. And then the last one is your removable two pocket folder, which opens up both directions. And again, you can move this anywhere. It's just how I set it up in here and then your page lifter and that's pretty much it. So um, actually I meant to put the page lifter in front of the shaker only because since it's soft, it likes to get, you know, likes to come forward over here and it'll help that. I don't know if you saw the unique thing there, but it's so pretty. So here they are, the last two, not last two, my latest two um, planners in the shop. Ready to go. If it's not there, when you click it on, you click on the link, then it's probably sold. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.